Hello everybody, Greg Peterson alongside Steve Sipple here. And uh, hey, we're standing out here on the brand new uh, field turf. Uh, looks beautiful, doesn't it, Steve? Yeah, we're getting a suntan. <laughs> we are getting a suntan. Anyway, day six is now in the books here at Nebraska Fall Camp. And uh, we got our first look at the team today, didn't we, Sip? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we had our eyes on the quarterback room, obviously. And, um, you know, Casey Thompson looked like uh, he's getting over that thumb injury and he's spinning it pretty good. Yeah, I mean, a lot. there's been a lot of talk on our message boards and such, um, just sort of a gossip about Casey Thompson and how he how, how he's responded to the thumb injury that he played with last year at Texas. I mean, it affected him half of last season. So you naturally have questions about it. Well, you watched him today. You couldn't, there was no evidence of any sort of thumb issue. Mark Whipple, the offensive coordinator, was asked about it, and he said this, he, he quote, Mark Whipple, Casey threw it pretty good in the spring, but he's much better now. Yeah. So there might have been a little issue in the springtime, but I'd say no issue now. And when you watch him, you don't see an issue. Yeah, and, you know, we talked to Trey Palmer after practice, too, and, uh, you know, he had high praise for all the quarterbacks in the room. But, um, you know, you were talking about Coach Whipple, and, you know, he was emphasizing no turnovers. We got to get into this first game without turning the ball over here in fall camp and, and let that hold over into the regular season right so how it came up greg is uh coach whipple was asked about their red zone work today how well did that how did it look he said it was good no turnovers he said early on for the most part that's just what you're looking for don't turn the ball over in the red zone um and then go from there and, and and actually the no turnover theme carried into a question about what are you looking for from your starting quarterback you know i think it was basically as the kind of like as the opener nears and, and, in, and in the opener, he's same thing. Mark Whipple said the same thing. Don't turn the ball over. He said, we got a good team. He said, we're going to be good on special teams. We're going to have a good defense. There's players around the quarterback. Don't turn the ball over. And that's what, you know, that's what hurt Nebraska so much oh, yeah. last season and the season before that, season before that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But same, same old song and dance. But uh, then we also had a chance to talk to uh, Coach Mickey Joseph as well, uh, wide receivers coach, and uh, he wasn't pleased with the performance from his room today. He said they got their butts whooped. And I asked him, so when you're getting your butts whooped, who steps up? Which of your guys step up and say, okay, this has got to stop? And he said, nobody. So we don't have that right now. And they got it. Somebody's got to materialize in that regard. Right now it's Mickey. But it's better to have a player do it. Mickey says, I, he, Mickey just says it. I rule with an iron fist. But it'd be better if in those situations like today when the DBs are getting the best of them that a player steps up and says, hey, dudes, th this got to stop right now. But they don't have that right now. Yeah, you, you would think that that would be Trey Palmer. but uh, ah, New you know, guy, right? though. Yeah, right now it's it's kind of hard to say right now, but um, yeah, I, you know, Mickey Joseph also said that you know he's the most consistent one out there in that whole room right now. So Trey if, Palmer. Yeah, well, no, Mickey said that oh, Mickey. himself is yeah, the Mickey. most consistent one yeah, out there. Yeah. Um, which uh, you know, that, if that doesn't give you an example, if you're one of those wide receivers, then I don't know what kind of example. They better, you're they better for. fix that pretty fast here. Absolutely. But anyway, you know, we got to see a lot today. Finally. Um, and, uh, you know, Nebraska, they're going to uh, they'll practice again tomorrow. And then uh, Wednesday will be uh, another day off for the team. So uh, we'll be back out here on Thursday. Um, so keep, keep tuned in to us. And uh, we'll have plenty of video coverage from today's practice session. So keep your eyes here on, on 3 Nebraska.